What if everything we know about the ancient pyramids is just myths and fictions? What secrets are really hidden within these ancient walls of Egypt? Starships from Alpha Centauri that built the pyramids. Slaves who worked until they were blue in the face. Curse of pharaohs and deadly traps of tombs. What only myths are not connected with the beautiful country of antiquity? Well, let's start with perhaps the main thing. Movies about Indiana Jones and games about Lara Croft. They have firmly hammered into our heads that the Egyptian pyramids are catacombs filled with traps, false doors, scarabs, and poisoned darts. This myth does not stand up to any reality check. Among all the tombs found by archaeologists, only a few were protected. And scientists are still arguing whether the collapsed ceilings were an accident. After all, the tomb is several thousand years old. In reality, the only thing that can be blamed on the Egyptians is the complex internal structure of the pyramids in most tombs. They are really stuffed with bypasses, and it is hard to pass from the entrance to the sarcophagus without knowing the plan. But it was done for reasons unrelated to security, it's about Egyptian religion. Guys simply protected the deceased from contact with the outside world and protected their peace. And from their side, it is also silly to complicate their work with traps during the construction. The only real part of the security system is the fake burial chambers. They were disguised as looted so that a thief sneaking in would think someone had already robbed the pyramid. Of other related myths, note that there were no crossbows in ancient Egypt, and all the shooting walls from the movies are an obvious myth. Yes, and scarabs appearing in every project of pharaohs can't do any harm to a man. In reality, they feed on cattle dung and do not even bite people. In ancient Egypt, the scarab beetle was sacred. It symbolized life after death and resurrection and was associated with the sun. But what do we really know about those distant times and the mysterious pharaohs? In 2023, a mummy was discovered in Egypt that may turn out to be the oldest surviving mummy in the world. It was found in the sarcophagus of a man named Hekashipes, who lived about 4,300 years ago during the 5th and 6th dynasties of Egypt's pharaohs. This mummy proved to be unique, as the sarcophagus was completely sealed and contained gold leaf in which it was wrapped over 4,000 years ago. What makes this find even more amazing is that Hekaships was an official and did not represent the nobility. This shows that one of the best preserved mummies in history belongs to a commoner, and it's a reminder that ancient Egypt wasn't all about pharaohs and slaves. During the period of the Old Kingdom, that is somewhere from 2700 to 2100 BC, the Egyptians mastered geometry, made a solar calendar, and even studied the stars. The Great Pyramids are a consequence of these scientific victories, but their construction would not have been possible without stoneworking skills and agricultural advances. Canal systems, which were built by ancient Egyptians, do not lose much in efficiency to modern ones, and in parallel they learned to bake bread, make beer, and fully mastered writing. They even built the Suez Canal, which connected the Mediterranean and Red Seas. Besides, researches of chemical analysis of the ground extracted from under the pyramids have allowed to confirm precisely that at the time of construction of pyramids, the River Nile flowed right next to pyramids in an epoch of the ancient kingdom. This explains how the blocks for building the pyramids could have been transported using the river, which disproves the myths that slaves were used for this purpose to carry giant stones tens of kilometers. From an engineering standpoint, the Egyptian pyramids are essentially huge tombs that could have been over 300 feet high. That's a solid project even now. Analysts estimate that the cost to produce the Cheops pyramid in modern times would be between three and 12 billion dollars. It costs about the same to build a very substantial airport. Even for large states, it will fly into a penny. 20 years ago, any scientist would have said they were built by slaves. Excavations and discoveries continue to this day, and often they radically change the ideas about ancient Egypt. But who actually built these architectural wonders? For a long time, there was an opinion that the pyramids were built by enslaved people. It was promoted by works of ancient Greek historian Herodotus, wrong interpretation of the biblical book Exodus and Hollywood movies. In reality, however, most archaeologists and historians today believe that the pyramids of Giza were built by paid laborers rather than enslaved people. Several archaeological findings support this theory. The dead builders were buried in a place of honor, in tombs located not far from the pyramids themselves and provided with supplies for the afterlife. 
It is unlikely that enslaved laborers would have been buried in close proximity to the pharaohs or prepared for burial with such care. Workers' wages were usually paid in the form of shelter and food, not money. Basically, the concept of money was not yet so popular at that time, and subsistence exchange took place. Even taxes could be paid in grain, for example. This environment was supposedly reminiscent of feudal Europe, where common people provided services to the Laj in exchange for land, financial support and protection, like farm work under feudalism, building pyramids in ancient Egypt was likely a common job. Beer was drunk by everyone starting in childhood. More affluent people could afford wine. Incidentally, in 2023, an archaeological expedition discovered several hundred wine jugs in Egypt. Some of them turned out to be sealed and preserved, the remains of wine aged for about 5,000 years. But Egyptian beer and bread are not at all like what we are used to seeing in supermarkets today. Bread flatbreads were very fatty and caloric and were often eaten with vegetables. Meat was more often eaten on holidays, as it was very expensive. Beer was also very different from what it is now, and it was drunk for two reasons and intoxication was not one of them. Firstly, water could not be stored then and it quickly became contaminated with microorganisms which led to disease. Secondly, Egyptian beer was very thick and caloric, so much so that one could even eat it. By the way, these ancient recipes of beer and bread still live in Egypt. Once the ancient Egyptians dreamed of soaring like majestic birds, and they realized their fantasies by creating the glider Saqqara. It was as if they had built a wooden marvel, a model airplane, before airplanes even existed. This glider had wings like a bird, and the inventor's curiosity was like a time travel experiment. Was this a prototype of future air transportation, or just an ancient aviation dream game? Did the ancient Egyptians really invent the airplane in 200 BC? The Wright brothers, who are considered the inventors of aviation, would be very, very upset, as one of their first flights was not made until 1903. There's only one way to find out for sure. Test the model. The History Channel invited aerodynamics expert Simon Sanderson to create another replica of the bird. He tested it in weather conditions similar to those in Egypt and was impressed with the small airplane's capabilities. The most epic archaeological find was the discovery of the ancient city of Luxor in Egypt, which should not be confused with the Luxor Temple. This city existed a couple thousand years ago and was called Ouazet. It was discovered in 2021 under the sands near the Luxor Temple. The city was known in historical chronicles as the Golden City and was considered the El Dorado of Egyptian times. Numerous temples and interesting buildings have been discovered in the city. When improving the area near the Temple of Luxor, another settlement dating back to the Roman era was discovered. This settlement was located very close to the Luxor Temple and presumably served as the seat of the regional administration and a place for legionaries. Archaeologists often make important discoveries even when they are not looking for something specific but simply improving areas. This find was recognized as one of the most epic since the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922. The year 2023 has been rich in archaeological finds and discoveries and they continue to expand our understanding of ancient civilizations and history. Let me know in the comments if you've had fun and are looking forward to the sequel.